Hey Calvary, it's Pastor Ruben from the Parker Campus and here's your word for the day. How many of you like waiting? Well, if you're anything like me, then you don't like waiting much. One, well, because I'm impatient. Two, it implies that we're not doing anything productive and not getting anything done. And even if I do get my body to physically wait, my mind is working double and triple time. So waiting doesn't come easy. So let me ask another question. When's the last time that you waited on the Lord? And let me say it this way. When is the last time your soul waited on the Lord and spent time with God? And not just going to Him with a list of requests and petitions, but sitting in His presence, declaring His greatness, desiring what He wants, and waiting to hear from Him. Listen to what King David says in Psalm 62, starting at verse 1. It says this, For God alone my soul waits in silence. From Him comes my salvation. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress. I shall not be greatly shaken. I shall not be greatly shaken. In many Psalms, David begins telling God uh, his great needs, um, his present crisis. We see this a lot with David. Now, don't get me wrong. Please go to God with your needs and your crisis. But this is a great reminder that even during present trouble, which David is in, he asks nothing from the Lord and just declares God's strength and his defense and his he gives him honor and glory and just really talks about his greatness. When you wait for the Lord, remember, you are actually doing something. You are getting things done. You are being productive for your soul. You are putting your complete trust in God in the midst of your busyness, in the midst of trouble, in the midst of desperate times, trusting that He is in control and knows our needs and our wants even better than we know. So, will you wait on the Lord by just spending time with our Father, declaring His greatness, His faithfulness, remembering that He is our rock, our salvation, and our fortress? Because when we wait on the Lord, we will not be shaken. God bless you, Calvary, and have a wonderful day.